It's the first IPO on blockchain. So far, more than 300 investors have bought into INX's initial public offering. What is INX and why are people investing in it? INX is a startup cryptocurrency and security token exchange. Its sale marks a milestone for the blockchain industry because INX is the first security token offering registered with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, meaning mom and pop investors can now purchase its shares. Previously, security tokens offerings were unregistered and limited to wealthy investors. Initial coin offers of the 2017 and 18 were conducted with little regard for compliance. Uh, going back to 2018 of the ICO boom, a lot of people uh, said, well, look, let's hold on. Let's just do these as normal securities offerings. INX's security tokens would allow investors to use them to pay trading fees on INX's platform and entitle holders to a share of company profits. Certainly, INX is going to be a bellwether. Part of the success of their offering, a large part, will of course be their business model, having uh, an exchange or at least the potential for an exchange that can handle both security tokens, so traditional securities, as well as traditional non-securities, sometimes referred to as commodity token or utility token or whatever you want to call them. Having uh, one business that can operate across those markets on a regulated fashion is a very exciting uh, proposition. Here's how users can take a peek at the first IPO issuing digital securities. Users can view data about the sale on the Etherscan, a blockchain explorer that shows transactions happening on the Ethereum network. Public data on Etherscan allows users to see the full supply of INX tokens that were minted before the sale. The supply of INX tokens can be found in the token tracker on Etherscan, where people watching the sale can also see tokens being distributed. Uh, distributions happen in the future. For the investors, we'll see funds be moving out of uh, this address into the investors' accounts. For the INX IPO prospectus, distribution hasn't happened yet. But when it does, the public will also be able to see how many registered investors have bought into the sale by seeing which ones have INX tokens in their wallets. The public will also get to see investors trade INX tokens with each other. And so you can drill into the transaction itself. So like this one was an hour and a half ago. And uh, we can see that, um, you know, there's a function call being called, which is set whitelist. And it takes in, you know, an address, a status, and just like a, a string data. But essentially this address right here that's showing up is an investor that went through uh, the token sale process said they were wanted to commit. They made it through all of the AML KYC. They agreed to all of the terms and conditions and they put in a specific amount that they want to invest. And they said, here's where I want my tokens to end up. And they submitted that to INX. While observers can't see who's made investments, smart contracts were written to give regulators assurance that anti-money laundering and know your customer rules are being followed. The challenge with using an Ethereum-based token in what we might call traditional capital markets, such as an equity IPO like INX, is that um, the SEC has raised a number of concerns about open, uh, non-permission blockchains like Ethereum. INX's transfer agent, TokenSoft, claims that it solves some of the SEC's compliance hurdles with the ERC-1404 token, which is a variation of the ERC-20 token the technical token standard used for all smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. TokenSoft CEO Mason Borda says that the ERC-1404 solves the issue of international securities flowing into the United States because the token can have inherent trading restrictions coded into it, unlike the paper-based securities found in traditional markets. Borda also argues that the INX IPO will be the first time the SEC has had an independent shared ledger that it can trust to use as an audit trail. For other security issuances, the SEC has had to check the databases of individual companies and look at data that isn't standardized or cleaned up. After more than two years of getting the SEC used to Ethereum, Borda predicts that these efficiencies will convince U.S. regulators to adopt blockchain for all IPOs in the future.